Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Frankia here in Antebellum. We need to get everything sorted out here to the point where I need, first of all, I need to get you guys out of there because there's literally no reason for me to be hanging out over here. So Saxony, sadly, broke off their friendship with me due to um, that war there. So I need to make sure they're, they're friendly with me. Actually, instead of Saxony, let's go with Lombardy. Since uh, we don't have a royal marriage with him anymore. Let's befriend him. And we'll royal marry him as well, which will solidify our friendships. Perfect. So we're basically solid now. Let us make sure we're topped off on relations with these guys. Very good. Um... Don't need to stay over at a hundred. Papal influence, clergy, nobility, loyalty, bunch of land switching around. I don't particularly care. I would rather have this stability. Sounds good to me. Let's embrace that institution. Take that. We'll get these texts pretty soon. We can start working down our first idea group, which will likely be. Hmm. I don't know. I honestly don't know that one. We can core this up eventually, but I'm going to make sure we get our idea group first. I really should start considering attacking these guys. Holstein is really war exhausted, but that doesn't change anything. My vassals will be able to help. He's not going to be able to land any men, so I don't care. Let's have you guys hang out there. Let's, uh... Oh, crap. I thought I had a claim over there. So let's build a claim right here. Where's my second merchant? Here he is. So, Lothurnia is no longer a valid rival. So who is? The Nizarids? Alright. You guys will get an embargo. Unlawful territory for Berg. Could release Nassau, that would be great. Hey, hello, Nassau. I will guarantee him for a little bit, at least until he makes some friends. He's got a friend, so I'll let him go. I like to Bologna. There you go. So, let us... I think I'll save the Imperial Grace. We'll just spend the money. So these guys are good. Those guys are topped off. These guys need topped off as well. Let's take that. And then you guys will also get influenced. Let's recall all of you guys. So what we need to do is we're going to sync it up. So we're going to annex all of them on the same day. So after we can do it. So it will take March 71. March 73. March 74. So, we begin with you. And our first idea group should be... I'm probably going gonna going to go with an offense, or a, a military idea group. I'm leaning towards something... Maybe... Hmm. Aristocratic is usually a good one, honestly. Mil tech cost. You know what? I hardly ever go with aristocratic. Let's go with aristocratic. We'll flip to a mil, mil focus as well. And our heir is mil focused as well, so this is good. We get tech costs from our Charles the First, apparently. Uh huh. And so as we start to work through our annexation of him, after about enough time, so it'll say uh, October of seventy four. It'll be done. Good. So, if we were to... Alright, he's a personal union. If we were to integrate him, it would be May of 74. And if we were to integrate him, it would be May of, or August of 71. So, we're waiting until this says May or August of 74. Which it should... Or October, I believe it said, actually. Right? October of 74. So, you wait a couple more months. September. 
You guys are starting to get the understanding here. So now, if we start the annexation process, it will finish on the same date. So, what we want to do is we definitely want these guys to be scootaged. Because I do not want that to mess up our uh, annexation process. Uh-huh. Guess I'll lose the money. I'm not hurting for money. Now let's build these guys a few as well. Eh. Eh. None of these buildings really seem that good. The road systems are fun. So this is another antebellum thing. Um, let's take a look here. Local development, cost, friendly movement speed. There's 68. So let's just build some roads around our capital here. A little bit of um, infrastructure, right? Let's take a look here. Who wants pu Swabia Gallery wants pu I'll pu you. I'll pu you. Baden also wants pu Nassau. We're losing quite a bit. So... This says it will be done January of 74, apparently, or 72, because of our annexed, uh, annexed, um, vassals modifier changed. So let's suppress you guys so we don't have you. We're just speed fiving it, consolidating our power, passing reforms, doing our thing, you know? We're good. We're solid. I do need to make sure that I have my general here drilling, though. That's going to be more important. So apparently... I missed that one. There we go. So we also do want to start... We want to make sure we're coring things up. It'll help out our economy quite a bit. Let's get our claim right here. You got whales as a vassal. Hmm. Sabia would actually help me out with this one. I'm leaning towards saying yay. So, November 71, February 72, January 72. So that's unfortunate, but whenever this guy would be down, done, so. Here we go. January 72. So we're going to lose 15 a month, but um, all three of them will be done roughly at the same time, which is quite strong. So we're going to do this. Make sure we got these guys all scootage. We do. You guys are going to siege down. And uh, let's recall you. Recall you. Let's take Calais. Call in Swabia. And then have you guys eventually head over here. I'd like to get mill access through Lotharingia if I could. If I could. If I could. If I could. If he's going to land men, it's going to make me mad. Okay, so I do need to keep an eye out for uh, British troops landing, because that'll be kind of a big deal. There we go, make sure we got the hog siege down correctly. Once we siege down Calais, we will be good to go. Holstein is being, being sieged down. Oh my gosh, they're going to full occupy my ally within like a year of the war starting. Goodness gracious, okay. Well, that's kind of bad. Yikes. Alright, so Holland. I'm just gonna sit on his capital for a little bit. Yeah, he's full occupied, dude. That's nuts. He annulled treaties. Oh my gosh, the son of a gun. Ay ay ay. <laughs> he literally got him done like instantly. That's crazy. 
We're also making extremely slow progress on here. How many sieges has this been? 260 days and we are on two siege progress. That's annoying. Same thing over here, three. Our commandant is dead. So let's go with um, morale of armies. So they're down here sieging my vassal, which is fine. I would rather them do that. I will also build some spy network over here to help out with that as well as spy network right here. Imperial Gant ban against these guys here. Okay, so they annexed. Interesting. So I could call for a crusade. So they landed some men down there. Interesting. Let's put some defensiveness down there. Our economy is super strong, so we're we're good. Once we peace out Holland, um, and Holstein will be able to get pieced out quite soon. As soon as we win his capital, we'll be able to piece him out. Are you kidding me? What is this garbage? They're just not progressing. They're landing more men over here. Hmm. It doesn't matter if England lands men. It's not going to hurt me. He can't. He can't get to me. It doesn't matter. So Verona ate Trent, I assume. Yep, he did. And he won't release him either. Son of a gun. Hmm. So let's break royal marriages with you. And who else do I have? My Diplo is going down so fast. We actually won't be able to integrate all of them because we're going to be over our limit. Nice. We're still a papal controller. That's great. Um, let's go with... Unrest in Catholic provinces. Oh. Official unchangeable faith. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. Anyways, um, go with the unrest in Catholic provinces. That sounds pretty helpful. So he's landing men over here now. We should be able to win Calais and the Hog. If we don't get a freaking ay ay ay. All right, cool. So we now have Charles the uh, sixth. That we said. Cool. So we have our Empress, who is actually a babbling buffoon. <laughs> but now we just need to win these. Um... Eventually, we'll finish these up. Now that we're super low, it's going to take extra time, but it's fine. Take this next one, get my manpower modifier, and then we can work through, take the limber, get our mil tech. 0%, negative 14. 20, 21 and 14, let's do it. Come on, baby. Win the sieges, please. I've been going on for way too long, man. This is like offensively long sieges. Nisrids are now no longer valid rivals, apparently. I don't know how that's a thing. There you go. He won a 21% chance. I would never in my life even come close to winning a 21% chance. No chance at all, ever. So whenever we take this, we'll actually have positive war score. We're still losing a 21% chance here. Yep, they're winning all their sieges now, making their way through. Let's turn on defensiveness here. They got a disease outbreak. We got a disease outbreak. Integration is a slow process. That's fine. It's actually going to make it quicker to annex these guys because we won't be spending as many points on it. All these people are just annexing everything. Cologne, you son of a gun. Release him. Guarantee him for a moment. Statesman is dead, apparently. So Swabia will not be guaranteed anymore. So 
So let's uh, get you guys up here. I really can't even comprehend. I if they they're going to attack me here too, and there's nothing I can do about it. Hold on. Yep, they're going to attack me here. This is so stupid. So stupid. I've been on this siege for over two years now, and I'm at 21% chance. And they're gonna win this siege. This siege. They're gonna win all my sieges. Get that Imperial Authority growth again. Please, just win the siege. Luckily, these guys have some... Uh, they can't get to me in Paris. I am getting so tilted about this fort. This is actually infuriating, man. Three years I've been on this siege here. And they're gonna win all these sieges. Oh, he actually gave that one up. Nice. Holstein wants out. That's fine with me. Give me all your money. Break your alliance with England. How are you on 7%, dude? Come on. AI. AI. You've been on that siege for 100 days. Holy crap, dude. Alright. So let's make sure we're stating everything up as well. Looks like a lot of this is. Very good. Why would you ever path through those rebels? I have no idea. They're on Picardy, making good progress. Alright, let's pull you guys down here. We're gonna have to get these guys off of Picardy. We don't have a choice. Get a general. Alright, get him out of here. What are you talking about? Let's get up here and see if we can wipe them. There we go. There we go. We also won the hog, so that's good. Give me your trade power. Give me your money. Break your friendship with England. Stupid idiots. Get out of there. Come down and kill these rebels, and let's get on down to Calais as well. That was nuts. And incredibly annoying. <laughs> incredibly, incredibly annoying. Alright, so let's get down here. We're gonna have to siege our stuff back now. So, we don't need to be guaranteeing you anymore. You've got an ally. Speed of succession in Clevs and Nassau. Okay. Integration is a slow process. There we go. Very good. And now we speed five it since he's lost all of his men. I've apparently lost 45,000. How much of that to attrition? 30,000. Goodness gracious. That is so offensive. Um, oh, Dithlo Diplo rep sounds good. Make sure I'm getting voted for, which I'm not right now. Styria needs to be improved with big time. Oh yeah, I integrated a couple of the uh, electors, or a couple of members. That definitely would irritate a couple of people, I think. So, see if we can get Swabia to be our friend again. Let's do get you guys over here. Nice! Champion of the Joust! Very good. Very, very good. He is... how good is he? He is literally an average general. Okay, very good. Fun game. Okay. Sounds good. Makes sense. Uh, we still need to make sure we're coring up all this stuff for our economy's sake. Somehow I'm losing that much... losing nine ducats a month. Let's win some sieges, please. 
Won the Siege of Calais. Very good. Let's turn you guys off of that. Turn off these edicts. I'm not spending as much money. I don't care if Cornwall likes me at all. Got a disease outbreak over there. Take the prestige. Let's get these guys up here. 21% chance. Good. Let's get those guys out of here. They're reinforcing, which is really annoying. There we go. Nice. Now Calais is mine. You guys will give me money. Now that I've got the war goal, I'm just going to chill and just stand on it. I don't care. What are you guys going to do? Hmm? What are you going to do about it? Huh? Let's turn our maintenance down. Take the prestige again. Sounds good. Lots of prestige. We're getting voted for again, which is nice. Make sure we top off our relations with everybody. Did I say that Denmark raided my coast? May raid coasts, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say they are uh, they are Vikings after all. Okay, so. Somehow my war score is actually going down, like their war enthusiasm. So let's just peace out, get Calais. Let's uh, turn off this defensiveness edict. Core up Calais. We now will reconquer Calais. Culture will change for unrest. Yeah, sure. Make it the right culture. It's fine with me. Get you guys over here in Paris, see if we can uh, have you drilling. And turn off these forts. Too many dadgum forts. Monthly autonomy change, absolutism is fine. There we go. So, now we have all these Diplo slots that we can fill up with various things. So... Who are you at war with? Swabian Conquest of Donahau. Can I enforce peace on him? Would that be would that work? Oh, he he hates me. Okay, well. Well, Thuringia has announced me as his rival. Well, you know what? You are also my rival, jerk. Still have a truce. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Let's turn some forts off that I don't need. I have a lot of forts. A lot of them I don't need, actually. Keep these guys down there, though. I probably should get one, like, over here. Man, this is unfortunate, though. Because I can't... I literally just can't do this one because of Lower Burgundy. And he's an elector. And he's in my PU. I can't abandon the PU or else he'll hate me forever. It's tough. Nice. I'm okay with a little bit of reform desire. It's not gonna bother me any. I'll just investigate the heresy. I'll recall you. I don't need that anymore, and I don't need that anymore. Disputed succession in Yaroslavl. Really? All the way over here in OPM. Yeah. Something tells me I'm not going to be able to get a PU on you. Let's go with base tax early on. Base tax is king. Okay, I don't care about Utrecht. Bohemia. I also don't care about Thuringia. I could have them release Coburg, so I will. Oh, wow, they annexed a bunch of people. Okay, who are you allied to? Bohemia, Regensburg... Beirut. 
So if I were to attack him, would Bohemia help? He would. Hmm. We'll figure out what we're going to do in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. We definitely have done, been doing a lot of centralization over here. Uh, let's make sure everything is stated. It is. So our economy is slowly recovering. We are going to continue to build up and uh, see what we can do from here. I'd like to start really making a push towards uh, getting the uh, centralized path sorted out so we can start really, you know, bringing glory to Charlemagne's empire. So if you guys are enjoying, show your support and leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and also ding a bell, ding the bell whenever you subscribe and it'll send you notifications when we upload. If you want to hop in our community discord and see what's going on over there, the link for that is going to be in the description below as well as uh, my Patreon. If you enjoy my content and you want to support us, the Patreon is the best way to do that. That is also going to be linked in the description below with the mod Antebellum and my other mods that I uh, run on every U4, every U4 campaign that I play. So check those out. Links in the description below. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right. And don't forget to subscribe.